on the CAP. You said you'd work to achieve a consensus for reform. Well, in a way, you have, I suppose, because you've got 24 countries against you. No CAP reform until 2014. On the budget, you said there'd be no surrender of the UK rebate. Well, it seems to me that you've given away £7 billion of British taxpayers' money for nothing in return. Your only achievement is to open talks with Turkey, which is opposed by the vast majority of people in Europe and will lead to an even higher bill. Why should British taxpayers pay for new sewers in Budapest, for a new underground system in Warsaw, when our own public services are crumbling in London? Why? Why should we pay? Why should we pay a penny piece into an organisation whose accounts have not been signed off by the auditors for the last 11 years in a row? This budget deal is game, set and match to President Chirac. No cheese-eating surrender monkey he. Unlike you, he stands up for the French national interest, not some bizarre notion of Europe, and he has outclassed and outplayed you at every turn. Your only real achievement is that Britain is now isolated, alienated, we are completely alone within the European Union, which is why, which is why, it's been said before, hang on a second, everybody else gets an extra minute, Mr President, I'm asking for 10 seconds, thank you. Which is why, Prime Minister, I urge you, it's often been said that you wanted to be the permanent President of Europe. Please stay on for a further six months, six more months of the British Presidency, and they'll kick us out. Thank you. Let me just tell you, sir, and your colleagues, you sit with our country's flag. You do not represent our country's interests. <laughs> this... This, this is the year 2005. This is the year 2005, not 1945. We're not fighting each other anymore. These are our partners, they're our colleagues, and our future lies in Europe. And when, when you and your colleagues say, what do we get? in return for what we contribute to enlargement. I tell you what we get. We get a Europe that is unified after years of dictatorship in the East. We get economic development in countries who we have championed. We get a future reform that allows us once and for all to put an end to discussion about rebates, common agricultural policy and get a proper reform budget for Europe. That's what we get if we have the vision to seize that opportunity.